Hey guys, this is Shep. Um, I'm going to do a little demo of distributed note taking for you guys. So you can read the post for more details, but basically what you're going to do in class is have multiple friends or partners or classmates on working on the same Google Doc, all working to take a big set of master class notes. So this allows you to um, you know, assign different tasks to people, get more information down than you would normally be able to, especially if the professor talks fast or goes through more information than you can you can write down on your own. So I've got a new Google Doc open. The first thing you have to do is go up to this little padlock where it says private and go ahead and add whoever you are going to be working with. And then they should get an email that lets them edit the doc with you. All right, so now Lauren is in the document. Um, you see we have a chat window over on the right. Hi, Lauren. Oh, Lauren says hi. And this is sort of random, but the first thing you're going to want to do is like make a few blank bullet points. Um, the only really hard thing about this is if someone else is typing, uh, Lauren, could you go ahead and type something? Okay, so Lauren's typing right now, and you see if normally if I wanted to like make a sub bullet point while she was typing, like the teacher was saying something interesting and she was she was uh, you know typing whatever was on the PowerPoint, um, I would try to like get in front of what she was typing, hit enter, but then I would like I'll almost always push whatever she was typing down into the next line and mess it up. So by having these extra bullet points, you can just go down and start filling in one, hit tab to move it over to make it a sub bullet point. And of course this assumes that you prefer to take your notes as bullet points. Some people don't, so that would make things easier. But you see we can both be typing at the same time. Class is interesting today. Blah blah blah. So the big thing you want to do is assign roles. So like Maybe I'm typing what's on the board, someone else is typing what the teacher's saying to supplement the material on the board, and if you even have a third person, I've never actually tried that myself, you could have someone just in charge of scouring the internet and putting links into the document relevant to whatever the teacher's saying for more information. Um, so it's pretty it's pretty simple, but uh, the notes I've gotten for it for the past two or three weeks have been a lot better than what I could do on my own. It just takes a little getting used to, but once you do, it's definitely worth uh, the learning curve. So stick with it and let us know how it goes.